What if we take the toy you already have, but paint it up as a toy that you didn't have? Mm. Or what if we painted it up as a toy that you didn't have, but from Japan? Ugh, nah. What if we did it in black? TAKE MY MONEY! Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime back for another Transformers action figure review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy, Lift Ticket, and Magnificus. So, let's just get right on into the review by starting with the packaging. And here's the special cardboard boxes that these guys come in. They both have this kind of image here where it's like a render of the robot mode right here. And then it's like, but it's in this like black and white or I guess black and brown kind of design. See, the thing is these boxes are actually kind of cool and all. And like, mm, do I actually want to keep them? And But they actually do look kind of cool and uh, no. That actually went right in the trash. <laughs> Honestly, there's nothing much in terms of accessories here. I mean, Magnificus just comes with the exact same blaster that Perceptor did, but Jowen's cast in black. And then we've got the same gun hand thing that Hoist came with, only it's cast out of yellow plastic and painted in silver this time. And then the weapon storage isn't really, it isn't really elegant, but it's, but it's perfectly surfaceable. And of course, for lift ticket, the gun can also just slide right over his hand as if it is actually part of his arm. And just the same thing with Perceptor. Um, Magnificus has the feature where you can hinge this backwards and back here if you don't want to have it out on the front. But honestly, that looks ugly, so I just prefer to leave it up as normal. And here is lift ticket here. And taking a look at his head sculpt, honestly, it looks very Decepticon-like. Like, he actually looks quite menacing with the yellow visor and the mouth guard and the way how his helmet is designed. But overall, he looks just like Hoist, only he's now in red instead of green. Actually, now that I think about it, Lift Ticket here actually looks like a McDonald's Happy Meal. <laughs> Overall, I like the Autobot logo and all the mechanical detail and everything is present here, which has become a new staple of the War for Cybertron trilogy and I guess throughout the Transformers Legacy line has also adopted a lot of that detail as well. I like the highlights of silver, especially there on the gun. And then he also has quite the backpack here, but it's actually quite compressed and put together very well and I actually don't mind it all that much. He does have some loose knee joints that does get a little annoying, but you just gotta man up and put up with it. And then he's got these giant arm flaps right here that do get quite annoying, and they can get annoying when trying to pose this guy's arms around, and how, and they just really look horrible. Quickly going over the articulation, this can hinge and these can hinge. He's got a ball joint at the head, which allows for swiveling, looking up and down, and looking side to side. His shoulders can rotate a full 360, though they're on this weird angle, so they do tend to run into the backpack. Shoulders can move up all the way and move down. He does get a bicep swivel. He does get a bend at the elbow, and then he does get a wrist swivel as well. He does get a limited waist swivel, but it is there. He has, his legs can hinge forward, his legs can hinge back. They can move outward that far, thigh swivel, previously mentioned loose double jointed knees, and then he does get some decent ankle pivot. So overall, not too shabby here on lift ticket. It's just the only problem is I still prefer the hoist color scheme over this color scheme. Kind of like how I prefer Burger King over McDonald's, if you guys didn't think I was white trash already. And here is taking a look at Magnificus, and this guy is just absolutely magnificent. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, overall, I love this brand new head sculpt that they applied to the figure. I think it adds a whole lot of character here, especially since this guy is a entirely different character from Perceptor. And again, I love the mouth guard and the golden eyes there in the head. Looks very nice, but overall, everything else seems to look pretty close to the actual Perceptor, except the face and just a little bit around the, the cheekbone area. And then, like I said, this thing can hinge up right there. It's nice and black. It's got a Decepticon logo right there. And also, I like the detail of the red underneath the glass right there. It looks, looks, looks like he has like red evil energon flowing through him. And overall, this guy basically is just the Perceptor that I have previously taken a look at on the channel, only he's now cast in black and gray. He's got a nice Decepticon logo here. 
And overall, the color scheme here actually works really well. He still has that gap in the back, but obviously, as I demonstrated before, you can put the gun there to cover that up. There's nothing really new to say. He still has the treads, and yeah, he's just Perceptor, but in black and gray. I literally don't know what else to tell you. Since we're already talking about Perceptor, let's bring in the original Studio Series 86 Perceptor. And so here they are. The Perceptor here, as you can tell, is significantly different in terms of coloring when it comes between him and Magnificent. Perceptor was already an amazing figure, and I personally really like black repaints, so you already took a figure I really liked and made it into black repaints, and you repainted it in black. Instantly sold. Going over the articulation here, the as you've seen, this thing can hinge all over the place. It also can hinge in and out. The head is on a ball joint, but it can't really look up or down on the ball joint. You have to use this transformation hinge in order to make him look up. Can't look down, but he can swivel from side to side. Shoulders rotate a full 360. They can also shift due to transformation. Bicep swivel, 90 degrees of bend at the knee, at the, at the elbow, nothing at the wrist. He does have a waist swivel. Hips can kick forward, they can kick back. He does move, oh my gosh. He does move outward that far. He does get thigh swivels. Stupid breaking leg feature here. He's got a bend at the knee, which bends pretty good. He's got that little bit of toe articulation as well as some deep ankle pivot. So pretty decent articulation on him. I'd actually say it's pretty good, except for the fact that he keeps wanting to freaking break dance every five seconds and then just for and then for comparisons here is a lift ticket compared next to his his mold father or i don't know what the heck you call it but the here he is compared with hoist and overall i actually prefer hoist over lift ticket and honestly i really don't see a point in buying lift ticket And then here is Lift Ticket and Magnificus compared next to the last legacy figure I took a look at, the Commander Class Combiner Menasaur, I guess. So anyway, that is basically it. Now let's briefly take a look at their alternate modes. And let's take a look at these two. And Lift Ticket's pickup tow truck thing here <clears throat> is a pretty good looking vehicle. And uh, I do like the way how the, I do like the way how the stripe on the side has the word Wrecker right there. I guess Hasbro's trying to, to spin off the fact that this guy is maybe like one of the Wreckers or something. I don't know, but I guess that's what they're trying to imply here. And overall, I think, I think it has a, I think the colors work better here in this particular mode because the red is a nice pickup truck color and the yellow here makes it look like it's a construction vehicle equipment that's being carried by the truck. The same thing was also conveyed by the original hoist figure but I feel like this one gets the point across a little bit better. The only thing I don't think is better is I don't like the the blue plastic here instead of and then clear right here. I would have much rather them just painted all of this in that blue if that's the, what they were going to do. Same thing goes here for the hoist, like I said before, instead of the blue right here, would have preferred they just do the black, but eh, I, I do have to admit though, the clear blue does look better in the robot mode, so I guess it just depends on your preference if you prefer to keep these guys in there. It does still have the little base connector toe gimmick here, back here, and then it does also still, and then it does also still have the problem of where the fists here don't really want to collapse in all the way, and so it makes it not roll, and it just keeps scraping against the ground constantly. So, yeah, it still does have the same problems as well. And overall, I think Magnificus is a uh, form here of the um, periscope mode. It does look pretty plain, honestly, because it is just a black version of Perceptor's alternate mode. I do like how the Decepticon logo is planted right there, but the red now looks a little bit weird in that particular place, because since there's no red throughout the rest of the... Of, but overall, this thing's actually kind of plain, and same problem as Perceptor. It doesn't really snap in or tab in very well around the leg areas, and so it does kind of fiddle around. But anyway, there is... Um, he does also still have that... Um, that uh, unofficial tank mode. 
And here is taking a quick look at that tank mode here. And honestly, I feel like this is something that Magnificus would use a lot more often than, uh, than Perceptor would. My only complaint with this tank mode is I wish they added, and this is the same thing on Perceptor, I wish they added a slider right here so this thing could slide backwards or that it had a, or it had an extra like hinge right here so it could swivel around a little bit better just to make it look a little more proportioned. I do appreciate the mold, but I do have to admit it does look better than the one that Perceptor had, especially since this part's now closed up and also the black just overall looks better. And a, and a tank mode makes more sense for a Decepticon. Here he is with Perceptor's tank mode, just for a better comparison here, at least in terms of the colors. Just a little bit more of a detailed comparison between Lift Ticket and Hoist right here. But again, honestly, they're just essentially the same thing. And then here is Lift Ticket and Magnificus compared next to the previously reviewed Stunticon Breakdown, because, you know, Menasaur doesn't technically have a vehicle mode of his own, it's individual guys. So here's just the last character I did. By the way, with Magnificus, you can get an extra um, lockdown Age of Extinction gun face mode. And that is basically it for my review on the Transformers Legacy slash Legacy Evolution Magnificus and Lift Ticket. Overall, Lift Ticket is just not my favorite. He, it's just the thing is, I'm, I like the character of Hoist, but I don't really have a use for him in these alternate colors, and honestly, the mold really kind of kills the vibe of Hoist, and I just really can't, really can't, like, connect with him. Might as well call him Moist. <laughs> Again, unless you missed out on Hoist, or if you're just really into the Diaclone Japanese, like, toy repaints. And honestly, if I'm gonna give him a, but, like, the figure itself is fine, I just... The old, my, it's just he still has the same complaints that I had with Hoist. So, like, this is, like there's Hasbro made no attempt to make improvements here. So if I had to give this guy a rating, I give him a very solid uh, 5 out of 10. It, for Magnificus, however, again, it was a figure I already loved. He's just, you know, has he's just done in black with a brand new head. And that is an instant sell for me, but again, there was no attempts made to improve the figure, at least engineering-wise. Those hinges in the legs to turn him into his uh, alternate modes just are still too loose. So overall, Magnificus, I give him a solid 9 out of 10. So anyway, that is basically it for this review. If you guys enjoyed it, give me a like on the video, comment down what you guys think, subscribe to the channel for more Transformers and action figure videos, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.